March 15th, 2021, and this video is called Fukushima Will Leak Till the Oceans Run Dry. Now just remember, a drop of water, it could put a hole through a concrete slab over time. That's what Fukushima is to the earth. The drop of water is Fukushima. The earth is that slab of concrete. And Fukushima is going to put a hole right through the earth. Not literally, but because of the contamination of the water. Now eventually, the water starts off clear. That would be pre-Fukushima. Now eventually, 300 tons of water every day leaking into the oceans is going to turn Fukushima into a bloody mess. Now, first of all, Fukushima was built on a the bottom of a mountainside. These mountains over here, they will flow down, rain. This is the water cycle. That's when, As long as there's water into the oceans, we are going to have rain and water because the water cycle starts at the oceans, evaporates into the air, comes down as rain, flows back down into the oceans. But the problem is, is Fukushima was built on these, uh, these aquifers and rivers of water that are under the ground. Now you got to check out the latest maps because I think they put a new satellite image up. I don't remember them being like this. Look at that. Just hundreds of millions of one ton bags. Look at this. It's just one pyramid that fits the screen. And they're everywhere. What used to be rice fields and the bread basket of Japan to grow food has been turned into a toxic waste dump, a nuclear waste dump. Look at that's one area. And just, they're everywhere. Look at these. They're actually tarping everything up so we can't see them. It's just ridiculous what they're doing over there. They should be ashamed of themselves how they're just destroying the earth. So anywho, here's what I'm talking about. When they built these reactors, the basements are below the ground. And they put them by the aquifers. So here's a deep aquifer. Here's low permeability level. And here's a shallow aquifer. And the water table level, with or without pumping, this is with pumping. They're trying to get it out before it even gets to the reactors. And this is without it. And when that thing blew up, they put cracks in these basements. So the water is leaking in here. I find this interesting. This site, Scalco Live, they mapped out the hydro sheds across the world. And look at all these rivers just on this one side of Japan. And they show, like, if water comes down on this part, they show actually where the water flows. And you could see where the mountain range is. It goes on that side. If it's on this side, it flows down and through here. This is really interesting. And what's even more interesting is if you get closer here, there's Fukushima. And they got them right underneath the reactors. And the whole site are these hydro sheds where w water is coming through. So if you click over here, it flows and follows these little arrows is where water flows. This is just so high tech. I find this interesting. But the problem is, is 
Now, Fukushima has been ra is raised up. It's built raised up. You can see how high it is over here. I think it's 100 feet from the sea level. But when it flows here, it's actually flowing right through the property into the oceans. So we got a, a there's a big mess on our hands, and I just cannot believe after 10 years that uh, it's just a forgotten memory because Fukushima is going to be like that drop of water that is going to just be slowly and slowly it's going to be destroying the planet and it not, might not be in our life it might be in your children's life or the, their children's children's life but the sad thing is as long as there's water in the oceans and the sun doesn't dry up this planet that's as long as Fukushima is going to be leaking cancer causing uh, materials and contamination into our ecosphere so we're pretty much doomed, hate to say it.